We are mixing it up today. This is the new GoTrax GX3. It's an electric off-road scooter that retails for $2,000. Should electric off-road scooters even be a thing? Let's find out the fun way. So it comes with two chargers. We're dual charging. It's their sort of matte turquoise colorway. I think it looks really good. It has some of these green accents. Beefy full suspension scooter. So you have two shocks in the front and two shocks in the rear. There's a hub motor in the rear wheel and the front wheel. And they both have hydraulic nut brakes. It's like the best name ever. Oh, they actually feel really good. It's a trigger throttle. I prefer that to thumb throttles. Big display, headlight, front lights, tail lights, and a brake light. Some grippy rubber here for your feet. Sick. We got Jim over the GX3 and the E-Ride Pro SS are loaded up in the truck. I'm giving this truck away with a brand new E-Ride Pro SS in the bed. This is my truck, I've loved it for the last two years. If you want to win a truck with a bike in the back, go check out my giveaway down below. This did not come with automatic windows, I had to put those in. Shout out to Kyle the Hooligan, he's the rapper who made that song and he watches the videos, he loves surrounds. Go check him out, Kyle the Hooligan. Yeah. Like Never fucking around on scooters. I always gear up. Got the chest armor too. All right, that's all you. Super bright display. This M button puts you between dual motor and single motor. I'm gonna just go dual motor, turbo highest power level. Whoa. It feels super solid. Nice, nice top speed. I wouldn't wanna go any faster than this. I think it goes 38, feels like 48. Plenty, plenty. I'm gonna be so careful here. I've never really done this before, off-roading a scooter. It doesn't make any sense, right? Cause you got these tiny little wheels. But it does, it is dual motor. All right. So far so good, it's a pretty smooth road. Nothing too crazy. I feel pretty in control. I have no idea how much grip I have. You can really tell there's a front motor cause that front wheel skids if you hit the throttle too hard. I actually feel pretty cool. I thought this would feel like really, really goofy. But if I saw me right now flying by on a scoot, geared up, I'd be like, oh, that, that guy's cool. <laughs> wow, that's fun. My muscles aren't built for this. My legs are already tired. So here I'm full throttle going uphill. It's very manageable. If anything, I actually wish I had some more power. But I know these scooters, you just have to go into the settings on the display and you can boost the power. They just don't want to send it too fast out of the box or they get in trouble. Look at this view! It's definitely hill climbing though. It, it needs the two motors. If it didn't have the dual motor, yeah, I wouldn't really want to off-road it. You don't get very much power. Because even with the two, I can feel it's asking for a lot. Howdy, howdy! Hey, you too! That's sweet! So that's the E-Ride Pro SS. It definitely... <laughs> I mean, you're going faster on an Emoto. But keep in mind, for two grand, 
I mean, it's a lot of money for a scooter. Uh, but, I mean, the Apollo scooter I reviewed recently, that was four grand. So that's double the amount of money. And look at us. Okay. Whoa, it's way faster when you're not going uphill. Way faster. <laughs> I don't know which one's the front brake, which one's the rear brake. Yeah! Oh. <sighs> Fucking flying on this thing. I'm not taking any risks around the corner. <laughs> And I'm also not taking my hand off. This is sketchy. Like, there's no way around. This is super sketchy. But we are outside. We are out here eating up the trails. And my bravery. I'm really running low. Is this. Do people do this? Is this a thing? Electric off road scooters? If somebody does this, like, please comment below <laughs> how it's supposed to work. Cause I'm doing it, but it's f***ing sketchy. People race these. There's like a whole race series on these electric scooters, not off-road. That would be, <laughs> that'd be entertaining. If I were to off-road scoot regularly, I would definitely want a scooter like this that has full suspension and dual motor. I think another really good feature for an off-road scooter would be regen braking with traction control. Because that's my main concern right now is how much traction I have. But you know, going uphill, it's uh, it's very manageable. I, I wish I had a little bit more power for the hill climbs. I know it has it. You just got to go into the into the display. I wonder if they actually expect people to offer the scooter, or if they just say that to basically get out of any liability. Like, oh, it's for off-roading, so if someone's street riding it, that's not our fault. Because I know there's a speed limit. Is there a speed limit for scooters? I know there's speed limits for bikes. I feel like I've never heard anyone talk about scooter speed limits. Yeah, you get this thing on some flat. No incline it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Yo! <laughs> what the f Are people seriously like out here off-roading scooters? Is that a whole thing? Am I just, am I just unaware? I feel like I've never seen or heard somebody ever even talk about off-roading scooters. But this is definitely fun. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go any faster than this. This is where you definitely want those nut brakes. Yo, shout out nut brakes. I'll take the sponsorship any day for nut brakes. Represent. Whoa. So should all for electric scooters exist? Sure, I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I do think these should exist. I suspect that they label it as a off-road scooter and they make it look like an off-road scooter. Basically so that they can make it go faster and not get in trouble. I think this thing's more for commuters who want a scooter that's faster than a street legal scooter. And then they just market it as an off-road. Cause you can, oh my God, you can off-road it, but it's so sketchy. <laughs> it can handle it though, it's got good suspension, dual motors. All right, that's my first impression of the new GoTrax. GX3, pretty rad scoot. Can definitely handle the dirt, but I'd probably ride this on the street. As a commuter, you're just not getting in trouble on these like you are on a bike. So we just checked the map, and if we were to take the street back to where we parked the truck, it would be a 10 mile ride. But if we take the dirt, it's only two miles. So that's one of probably many reasons that dirt scooters should exist. Because we're taking the dirt back. This could be you. I'm giving away my own truck with the new Ride Pro SS in the back. Not this one, it'll still be in the box. So if you're interested in winning my truck with a bike in the back, go check out the giveaway down below. And if you're interested in the whole dirt scooter thing, the GoTrax GX3 is on sale. I'll link it down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. As I do. Yeah.